Hello class! Good morning and welcome to our online class. It's me, Teacher Edson. Okay now, before we start, I would like to assure that you are ready in your comfortable place so you can focus in our topic that we are going to discuss this day. In checking our attendance, you just need to like this video so I can know that you are ready to watch our lesson this day. What is an ideal kitchen for you? Do you want it big and luxurious or small and simple? Kitchen is one of the areas inside the house where a great deal of food preparation and cooking is being done. Thus, the cleanliness and orderliness of the kitchen must be observed and maintained at all times. Remember that only a clean kitchen can produce safe and nutritious foods. A kitchen that is always clean and orderly is free from any rodents and insects that may contaminate the food and lead to different diseases. Now, let's have the three major parts of the kitchen. First, we have the working area. It's where the food preparation and actual cooking happens. This is where the stove, oven, center island counter, top or place. The second one is the storage section. It includes dry and wet storage cabinets for food. This also contains storage cabinets for cooking and eating utensils to ensure well-organized kitchen. Next, number three, clean up zone. Consists of sink, area for trash bins, and storage for cleaning supplies. A separate storage cabinet for cleaning materials should be provided to prevent combination and poisoning that may cause by chemical from detergents and other supplies. Now let's proceed to working triangle. Kitchen being one of the busiest areas inside the house should be well planned and well designed. It is practical to use significantly depends on kitchen work triangle concept which refers to the proper positioning of the refrigerator, stove, and sink. The primary goal of this concept is to minimize the flow of traffic within the work zone by placing the refrigerator, stove, and sink in the most effective distance possible to ensure an excellent work output. So here is the working triangle that you can use as a guide for your dream kitchen there are many kitchen design and layout existing nowadays from simple to modern types some kitchens are designed extravagantly wherein the kitchen utensils and equipment match the color design and style of the room some houses may even have built-in refrigerators and ovens and a huge center tops or center island with mini bar for wines and liquors too. Some kitchens design are made simple, especially if the space is limited. Proper kitchen layouts and designs are considered an advantage and convenience for people who cook and eat in the kitchen. Beauty and functionality of the kitchen are two inseparable factors to consider in design and layout. However, it is important to note that functions should always come first before aesthetics. Functionality in the kitchen areas determines how convenient it would be to be prepared and cook, eat, and socialize in the kitchen. Choosing the most appropriate layout from your kitchen should match the way you want to live and work. So now, let's proceed to the following different layouts that can be used in designing the kitchen or your kitchen. First, we have the L-shaped kitchen. It's one of the standard and most versatile kitchen layouts. It is consists of workplace on two adjacent wall perpendicular to each other, which can be divided into multiple work sites. It is efficient for small and medium kitchens and it also great for corners space. Uh, eating space can easily be provided in this type of kitchen without disturbing the flow of work. Next, number two, we have U-shaped kitchen. 
It is one of the most basic, useful, and versatile layouts that is appropriate for small, medium, and large kitchens. It is characterized as having two parallel walls that are perpendicular to the third. It is advantageous in terms of space in dividing the kitchen into multiple work sites, free traffic flows in work zone, wider counter space, and provision of a center island for wide view kitchens. Next, we have the G-shaped kitchen. It's a modified version of U-shaped layout where a four-leg, which is also known as the peninsula, is attached. Through this peninsula, more space for corner and storage cabinet are created. And at the same time, a few sets for guests are provided. Number four, gallery or corridor kitchen. It's a small space kitchen with more length than width. It consists of working space on two opposing walls that leads to a single traffic lane between them. It is also open on both ends that creates a feeling of connection to other rooms of the house. True, it can be efficient especially for a rectangular shaped house space. It may also cause congestion while cooking. Next, number five, one wall kitchen or straight kitchen. It is smallest among all kitchen layouts. It is also known as straight kitchen since it only has a single bunk of cabinets. Also one wall of a space with a refrigerator, sink, stove integrated into it. The traffic flow in the work zone is limited but the work triangle is definitely not observed and the storage are limited. To summarize this lesson, the three major parts of the kitchen are the working area, storage section, and clean up zone. And also the proper position in the work triangle, we have the refrigerator, sink, and stove. In the kitchen can lead to faster and more effective cooking experience. Next, the kitchen may be designed using the L-shaped kitchen layout, the G-shaped kitchen layout, gallery or corridor kitchen, and one wall or street kitchen. So that's all for our lesson this day. Hope you have learned something from it. Our next lesson is about measuring tools and techniques. Thank you!